Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king of Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel according to the So you know what that sounds like, right? Gideon. If we ever get there, we will. The same number, 300. No, they had 300. They only had 300 men and they slew the entire, like, all kinds of, was it Persians? But this guy threw, slew 300 enemies at once. Different. And after him was, but the numbers, after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Aeolite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pass Damim. And there the Philistines were gathered together in battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, fled from before the Philistines, and they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines. And the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the fifty of the thirty captains went down to the, the rock of David in the cave of Adullam, and those to the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, that is, at the gate. And the three break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but pour it out to the Lord. That's cool. I can hear everyone pours their 40s on the ground and goes, shout out to my homies, my dead homies. And said, my God forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did. These three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three from the 
lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them, and had a name among the three. Would you say the other guy's name was? See, <laughs> verse eleven it says, and there is the number of the mighty men whom David had, Jashobim, and Hakmonite. The chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. So is this another guy that just kills exactly three hundred people? S same number of people. This is a different guy. This is a different guy. all these giants. Well, there's a lion man, too, and a giant, probably Enoch, Enochian Egyptian. I think that's just, this, en this Enox, they, they must have went there. I should have done this before, just like kind of read it in the dark so I don't feel so bad. But I can't. The biggest problem I seem to have is I can't see if there's an I at the end of a name or if it's an L. So, anyway. In my book, that's the biggest problem. Sure. There's a lot of other problems. Okay. Ithai, not Ithal. Ithai, the son of Ribai. Ribai. That's not an L, is it? Oh, I can't turn the light on. I'm going to be doing this from a completely different location. Soon. Ithai, the son of Ribai of Gebeah, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Beniah, uh, the Perthonite, Arai of the brooks of Gosh, Abiel, the Arbathite, Asmatheth, the Baharumite, Aliba, the Shalbanite, the sons of Hashem, the Gizanite, Jonathan, the son of Shade, the Horrorite, Ahayan, the 
son of Sakar the Horite. Elephal, the son of Ur. Hefer, the Megarthite. Ahisha, the Belenite. Hezro, the Carmelite. Nari, the son of Ez. Bai. Joel, the brother of Nathan. Nippar, the son of Agiri. Selech, the Ammonite. Nahari, the Barathite, the armor bearer of Joab, the son of Serula. Is that Zeruiah? Hold on. This printing, I can't see the L's from the I's. And the only time it's giving me trouble is these, everybody's name when I, it's kind of dark. Zeruiah, Ira the Ithrite, Gareb the Ithrite, oh, Uriah the Hittite, Zabad the son. Adina, the son of Shisa, the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him. Hanan, the son of Makkah, and Josaphat, the Mithnite, Uziah, the Ashtarathite, Shammah, and Jehiel, the sons of Hotham, the Aro. Jedi Hail, Jedi Hail, Jedi Hail, the son of Shimri and Joah, his brother, the Tizite. I think everybody should see George Lucas. Look, Jedi. Jedi Hail. Everything in his story is copied from the Bible. Everybody, pretty much. Like, just the gist of it. Think about it. And the Anakim, that one. Why doesn't he give props? Why doesn't he say, hey, thanks, Jesus, you know. Thanks, God, for writing the Bible. So, you know, I can live on my giant ranch and I can see people for coming to my driveway. It's like, wow, Jedi, yeah, Jedi Ale, yeah, yep, he didn't even make that up on his own, nope. Okay, his brother, the Tizite, Eliel, the Mahavite, in <laughs> Jerabai, the Joshua, Il, sorry. And Jerabai and Josephiah, the sons of Elnam, and Ithma, the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Jaziel, the Metho, the Mesobate. Oh gosh, that's the end of that. What is that? Okay. I never heard of a meso bait, right? Well, George Lucas probably has one of them in his movies. Who knows? We know what a Moabite is. Mm, the lion men of Moabite, right? But these people are their friends. And these people... Look, there's an Ammonite in here. Benai, the son of Jehoiada, the son of the valiant man of Kabziel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. 
but then they're talking about all these valiant men and oh I see I guess these were not all just people that worked under David maybe they were but they were just maybe valiant men of the time too these are not all like under David they may have been I don't know but they're from everywhere so I'm not sure But whoever they are, they kill exactly 300 people at once, twice. That's David's captain. And his other captain, yeah, supernaturally killed exactly 300 people, like each. So that happened in this chapter. And then we can think about that when we get to Giddy. Gideon. Did we already do that? Are you serious? I don't know, because I did it with um, my Bible study. We did that. So that's what I think about. Maybe we already did it. Oh, no, but I think we did it. Uh... Alright. Well, I'll probably make like a thumbnail like something like 300 related, but <sighs> I think I got, had PTSD after reading Chronicles and Kings because there's just so many names. It's like everything got wiped out. I cannot imagine someone trying to read this book like quickly. Like, people read fast, like, in a day or two. Are there people that can do that? Like they could read this in, like, a couple of days. People with, like, photographic memories. Well, I don't know. I'm just going through a spiritual process because the Lord's going to have to help me because I just read all that and I feel like everything just got wiped out. Now I'm hearing about two um, of David's captains each killing 300 people, and I'm like, did we go, did we read that part? And I seriously don't even know. I feel like, I'm really just gonna have to go over that online. And I don't know how people study this unless they have some, I guess, like a Strong's Concordance. I guess that's all it really kind of takes, maybe in real life with the internet, but now it's like so easy to, to, to look up anything and Oh, here it is. I think this is it. Yeah, I think it's in, is it, is it in Daniel? Like Gideon did? No, is it? Um, I don't know, but then get into the internet, you can just totally look up anything, track anything, compare anything, but reading it this way, I was doing okay till I got to Kings. Now I feel my memory's been wiped out. But maybe that's a that's a spiritual necessity of reading the Bible to this point. We'll see what happens. I'm not even halfway through. I feel like maybe I don't even know. Maybe it's a third. And I started in on October 31st. That's Satanic Day. For the algorithm for YouTube. So instead of some of the things they have on it, put this and then plus just do it because I have
have to, right? And then... Yeah, it's like a legal agreement, kind of in a way, isn't it? Good. It looks like we're talking about David a lot more. I couldn't really, I don't know what's going on. All these names. And then I'm in the dark and I can't even see it. And everything probably that was ending with an I, I was calling it an L whenever I'm reading it in the dark. <sighs> All you can do is know that you're supposed to be reading it. Even though you feel like you can't understand it, just keep going. There's no way you can... I don't... Okay, I don't really care. What I'm trying to say is, I don't care who's speed reading this thing. First of all, let's take, like, some... Not even the top readers, just some kind of, like, regular readers. And you say, okay, sit down and read this. How long would that take? Like, a week, a couple of days. You ask them any questions about anything in here. Do you think they would have one answer? This is a totally supernatural thing. I am so old. You have to go through your whole life hearing certain things, stories. This is the only way I think I have been so lucky to remember. You, so you hear the stories, you hear the stories, you get read the word, read the word, read the word. And then You just have to read the whole thing at once. But how can... Look, I, this these, these names are just... Wow. I mean, wow. It's like anybody... It's not e easy. Like, well, because people that think they know the Bible... Okay, this is what it means to me. Do, do they know what all those names are? And exactly... Do they have a map in their head? Are they able to explain to anybody else? Um, this whole family tree thing, situation, in Chronicles. Like, clearly. I mean, people have to study, like, just parts of, like, three names for, like, their whole lifetime, probably, right? Maybe not three, but maybe, like, one of these stories, one of these paragraphs. It would take a lifetime just to even try to get to the bottom of that. Anybody that says, go read the Bible, or, you know, I've read the Bible, or I, there's no way. And I just feel not really frustrated. I just want to just say, wow. It's like some special information or something. Because it's not there for just no reason. Um, maybe really reading it out loud does something because like if you see this and you're supposed to be reading this you're like oh wow look at all these names um, I'm not gonna have any need for those so I'm gonna skip over all of these names this has nothing to do with my understanding of the bible but I guess what I'm trying to say is that if, if this book is really alive and it's like it is right it is you can tell when you're reading it because there's there's a purpose to all these names. I don't know what it is, but you, it's reading the Bible. Mm. And th this would be like part when people are like, yeah, but do you know it? There is not one person. I would like to meet the person that knows this chapter six chronicles this is name after name after name after name after name after name and i guess i'm kind of wondering the purpose yeah okay okay it's a genealogy then you get these other stories like look, look at this thing about david who are all these people are these all his friends these are mighty men right 
No, there were three mighty men. Well, who were all these other people, right? So it almost seems maybe, maybe you are kind of supposed to be reading it out loud in some way. Because anybody that's going to look at this in these parts, these last two chapters, you are not going to read these names. It's like, are you kidding me? You can't pronounce them. It's, it's, I would think a lot of people would do that and praise the Lord for giving me just today, you know, continued, like, just perseverance to read it. I don't have any reason not to read it, but I'm just saying, mm, you know, I was doing really good in the beginning. There's a lot of stories, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get the map out, and this is here, and that is there. And then, it, you know, it kind of just, right here, it's like, even if you have all this information, which I don't anyway, but pretend you knew all the rest of that stuff in the beginning. You get to these names, how can anybody say they know the Bible? They understand the whole thing. They can explain it. Not that you need to know the names. It's just, who are they? Who really are they? Because that's what it means if you know this. Why are they mentioned then? Every single one of these people. You know, and then you're reading it and you're like, wow, why is this? Why are we still talking about all of these people from before? And they're just mentioning, the, mentioning their names. It doesn't seem a lot of them even have any other information attached. So-and-so begat this, begat this, begat this. I'm trying to say it's so specific. It's only people's explanation is yes. And it is because all of this goes to the seed. All of this goes to Jesus. All, all, all of it. But I don't think, you know, here we go. We have this whole list about David's friends, his, his fighting people friends. So... You know, they're important. They protected him. They protected the seed. But I think it's more that all these people are mentioned too. It's like a spiritual thing when you read it. You could even know all that stuff, but I have to think about this some more. Why? But I just feel so grateful. We've had two regular stories for the past two chapters. I was like, are you kidding me? Is this whole thing going to be like this? Why is it like this? I... This is too much. No wonder nobody reads the Bible. I'm like, wow, this is too much. But then, oh, we got a break. Chapter 10 and chapter 11 right here. And it looks like the rest is kind of a break. It does not go back to all that. But that was something else. Can you imagine if this whole thing was just written? Like, who would read it? How can you? It's just a genealogy. So... You're sticking this in here. I'm glad it wasn't in the beginning. If they tried to put this in the beginning, we'd all be like, nope, I'm not going any further. So I guess this is the most appropriate place to place it. But wow, that was really something else. And I'm glad they stopped doing that right now.